So before my research, there was no suitable explanation to why or how these NBA superstars do it. The commonly accepted notion is it's in the gene, it's talent, you know, uh, but how do you measure it? How do you improve it? You know, if you're not born with it, are you just doomed? You know, we often hear so and so is a prodigy in the sport, in that sport, but is there a better explanation than just prodigy? In my channel, I'll show you there is, and it will be very exciting to see what happens in the next five years. So let's take a look at this shot that Kevin Love made. It's a game winning three from way beyond the three point line. I want, I want you to notice his foot, right? This is the regular three, NBA three, and he's way beyond it. I mean, he's, but when people shoot with glutes, um, you get all this power. It's, it's because you can engage it better. It, this has nothing to do with how much you can squat. You can squat a thousand pound. But you're not engaging your you're not engaging the glutes the same way that these NBA players do it, okay? And how do we know that? You can get Ethel's EMG suit, and you can see for yourself. Um, from a different angle, what well, from this picture, you can see his his heel is clearly see that his heel is off the ground, right? He's using the forefoot to shoot, release, and that's how he gathers and generates the energy, absorbs the energy from the ground for his shot. The power comes from the ground. Again, when different people look at this, right? Um, different people with different tension in the body, when they look at this shooting, they will see things differently, okay? The people who have no glutes connection, that's when your glutes are soft, you cannot, you know, when you lift off your heel, your, your, uh, your ankles wobbly, you can't really run around with your heel off the ground, and also your glutes is uh, uh, soft, if I haven't mentioned that before. And when you, these caliber people will find shooting like this, very very odd you know the the way they shoot is they put their whole foot on the ground and they force the dorsi flex and then they throw, throw the ball now the second category of people who have a bit of glutes connection and probably think this is fine they're able to move around tippy toes right but not not all the time and they're not aware of this they simply just you know have their heel lift off the ground and then shoot sometimes they go in sometimes don't now the third category of people it's, it's the people that who have very strong glutes connection will look at this and say hey this is how I shoot all my life I cannot shoot otherwise why why you make a, a big deal about this well here's why because different people have different foot strength when you have different foot strength you have different tendon strength from the foot to the glutes and because of fascia and tendon you will feel differently and the more strength you have in the foot the more strength you have in the glutes because of fascia and why I talk about Kevin Love today is really because ESPN ESPN 2015 the body issue did me a huge favor if you are not on my uh, Instagram, um, I suggest, uh, and you l like my research, like what I'm doing, I suggest you subscribe, so, because a lot of times I can um, make videos uh, with uh, YouTube, they, they will block you. So I, I'll make some videos on Instagram, even though it's only 15 seconds. Um, but anyway, so they revealed Kevin Love's foot in the desert photo shoot, right? As a comparison, I have put my research, my uh, HyperArc video, which I made three weeks ago prior to this photo shoot, right, on Instagram, just to show how the tension is kept while I raise the, raise the foot. 
and you can and my foot is on the uh, right hand side and Kevin Love is right here you know um, uh, hold on a second here all right all right great um, so you can see the way the toes are curled and tendons how the tendons are showing on top of Kevin Love's foot and you can see my foot and his foot and it's a complete match and uh, a lot of people that uh, think they're doing correctly uh, you know uh, you might think it's you're doing correctly but it's not just the curling of the toe there's more okay um, it's it's a lot of the, the conscious thought process to tap into this subconscious mechanism is actually pretty detailed um, you have to make sure you're doing it correctly and I've, I've seen like some people that uh, you know even after a year uh, they're still doing it incorrectly and that's why I have established a group um, so we can exchange what we're doing and we can see how everybody's doing with this type of training um, but the people that are getting very good results with glutes you know with the, how the feet is morphing they totally understand what's going on here in this picture and if you want to uh, know more about how the body works I suggest you get this book which is talks about the fascia this is even this is uh, this is 2012 uh, published the version I'm sure there's new research coming out but not the, the same way that I I'm already on the on the uh, I re already released this to the clinical side and we're already doing it and we're already getting results and this is talking about um, the fascia only uh, the, why why am I stressing on the fascia this is because this is because the fascia makes you a better athlete the better fascia you have the better athlete you are so how does hyper arc training makes you so accurate right so you know I, I tell you to shoot in a specific way with specific configuration in the foot is because the mechanism through isometric tension stimulates the fascia and nerves the foot contains 200,000 nerves endings and more okay so without this tension they're simply not being fully worked so considering a Consider this, uh, a guy shoots his muscle only without the mechanism, he's building muscle memory, right? The guy who shoots with the mechanism is using fascia and tendons. That's why I talk about why the hop is more accurate, right? Why we want to use the hop in hyper arc mode. Um, because the property of the fascia it, it, it has a very high very high quality of nerve receptors they are 10 times more they're 10 times better than muscle so basically it remembers better okay whatever you do it remembers better also you think of the the uh, uh, the quality of muscle and fascia all right fascia is is basically a web of 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 watery substance actually let's go to this slide first it's like a water web like connective tissue that permeates throughout the body right and it's just water and the glutes is made of made up 80 to 85 percent of fascia and they're not easily fatigued so you can have a shooter that uses muscle right but after you know two rounds of sprinting full court they'll get tired they won't be able to shoot accurately so it's a good strategy for a coach by understanding how the mechanism works and how to evaluate the athlete based on my research you can develop a strategy just by just by speeding up the game speeding up the pace the best shooter on the other team, if they're quad dominant, they won't be able to shoot. They will struggle even on the three po uh, free, free throw line. But the glutes dominant athlete will survive 
and they will st continue to shoot accurately and jump higher all right so that's a very good thing a very important thing for coaches to know um, this is another picture of the fascia and this is a connective tissue and it's throughout the body and here you have tendon you have the skin and fascia is all these structures so when the tendon are going this way are being vibrated these fascia all being worked but in the uh, uh, athlete that just trains muscle like a bodybuilder trains muscle only the fascia is not being worked at all very little very little extent and that is why and that is why um, the Shaolin monks they don't actually lift a lot of weights and they don't eat protein they can still be strong and I was very very shocked when I found this out because before I understand before I did my research I never understood the, the principle the, 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 the the science behind it why how can you be so strong and punch so hard and jump so high as these the martial artists how do you do it they actually subconsciously train the foot and train the fascia instead of the muscle whereas the bodybuilders they have a lot of muscle 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 mass but you know if, if you put them in the game for example basketball they will run around probably for 10 minutes um, they they probably will, will not be able to continue or sustain simply because the muscle requires high level of oxygen protein and is heavy um, some people that uh, uh, when I talk about uh, foot morphine for athleticism and uh, how increases your neurologic connection you know they say a uh, foot morphine my foot is never gonna morph not practical right but take a look at the picture here we have regular people wearing the shoe just by wearing the shoe the shoe changes the shape of the foot it is happening in the wild I mean it's it's everywhere that's why people have bunions have you know the the that's really because of of fascia fascia is like it's because fascia is water you know Bruce Lee said be like water my friend because the fascia is water the water if you put water in a cup it becomes the cup right just like your foot you put your foot in a shoe that restricts you in a different shape it will become that shape um, let's go to the next slide um, oh sports science fail right they talk about how uh, you know conventional understanding is correct but look at the sports science picture here right this is the protra protractor you have 10 degrees you have 20 degrees and you have 30 and if you just do the extension that's 40 that's 50 that's 60 and that's 70 so clearly Ray Allen's shot is not coming from what they say between 50 and 46 they're coming more from 60 so I mean it looks on the surface if you don't pay attention to detail the sports science hosted by ESPN John Brinkus makes perfect sense but if you actually do your own research and look at this picture look at this footage of Ray Allen's shot and do your own calculation you will see that Rihanna's shot is actually coming from a 60 degree based on what the what the protractor is telling you and um, this is this is where people going off tangent they talk about how the arc matters Ray Allen doesn't care about his arc when he shoot he just wanted the ball to go in and anybody that plays street ball knows they don't they don't look at their arc they just simply shoot okay and that's how great players become great not because they calculate the arc anyway um, finally a little uh, I want to uh, give away gave away one well, my book uh, uh, gave away a book a surprise today if you're the first person that get this 
get this answer, right? Uh, here we go. Who is this athlete? The first person that gets this right, get a free copy of my book. Uh, I'll help you get everything started. You know, uh, again, you have to, you know, SOA group people, you can shush. You don't need to help them answer, right? Give other people a chance. Um, you know, who's interested? I know some, a lot of young kids watching this, and if you don't have the money, that's fine. I mean, as long as you watch my channel, sometimes I have trivia questions, you guess the right athlete, I will give you a free copy of my book, and as long as you want to work, get results, we'll get there. Um, so what do we learn today? The ranking of importance. Nerves, nerve the neurological system where the electricity happens, um, that just pauses all your since pulse ner nerve impulses to all your muscle groups and fascia and everything that's number one you don't have nerves you don't have central nervous system working properly none of your movements gonna happen then it's a fascia because fascia is everywhere there's three layers of fascia that permeates through on top of your muscle inside your muscle and then inside your organ so everything that your body holds your body is because of fascia and then the tendon tendon is what connects the fascia to through the tendon to the muscle and the muscle I give the least ranking of importance because through my research I found out muscle is not number one hope you like this episode see you next time